This is Twit. We're talking about internet shutdowns. Here's a case of a government showing the way to better internet. The state of Utah, local Utah governments formed something called Utopia, the Utah Telecommunication Open Infrastructure Agency. For a long time, experts in internet access for at least 10 years have been telling me the best solution is have the government, just as it is with water and gas and electricity, have the government build the infrastructure mm -hmm. and then lease the infrastructure <clears throat> to private companies who can compete on top of that infrastructure to give customers the best uh, uh, prices and the best service. And that's what happened in Utah. The, the Interlocal Agency Collaborative set about building open access fiber network. So they built the infrastructure, allows any ISP to then come and compete on the shared network. Yep. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer. And, I mean, the classic example of this is Chattanooga, uh, which has been running their own hmm. system. You can get, as a consumer, for about 100 bucks a month, you can get 2.5 gig. And no the kidding. speeds are only going up. Listen to this. Same thing in, in North Carolina and Iowa as well, I think. In Utopia, 18 different ISPs compete on the same... It's the same fiber network, covers 21 cities. In many cities... Uh, ISPs are offering symmetrical gigabit for $45 a month. Some are offering symmetrical 10 gigabit for $150 a month. Uh, this is mind-boggling. And, and it just shows that a private and government I'm sharing can do something amazing. This was the biggest shock about moving to the U.S. was quite how bad the system is when we it comes have, to broadband and mobile. And we have the it's worst, bad. most expensive it's, internet. It's really, I mean, America built the fundamental building blocks of the internet and you've allowed two or three companies to basically take over the entire show, massively ratchet up prices. I have never met a Comcast customer who was happy. You know, and the lucky. reason this is only in, in, by the way, in Utah is because of Comcast, AT and T, Verizon, the big ISPs who fight this tooth and nail. Oh, they want a monopoly. Fighting Without it. a monopoly, they can't charge you all that money for such crappy service. Yeah, I mean, it's and the mobile is even worse. I mean, when yeah. I first got a U.S. mobile phone, it was like you're charging me ten dollars a month to send a thousand text messages. That's insane. There's no no justification for that whatsoever, other than we can. You know, great it's, article by Ky <clears throat> Carl Bodie in Tech Dirt. Utah locals are getting cheap 10 gigabit fiber thanks to local governments. Uh, I recommend it, and then print it out and give it to your member, your uh, member of Congress, or better yet, your city council, because the best way to do this is locally, to do this in in, in hmm. a regional area. Uh, because you can sneak it in behind past Comcast. Well, you can also, on a national level, Finland and South Korea both built out huge fiber networks and then lease them out at that cost. It's just obvious. Mm. It's, it's not what we're it, it should be considered, you know, piping infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, it's not, there's like, look, this is like, we know there are problems with the American system. <laughs> uh, and this is kind of a showcasing of that problem. We could have, we could be living in a very different world where everyone, most everyone had access to very inexpensive internet. And we don't live in that system. Yeah. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, the News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.